If the Iranians really want to bomb, they will have one. This is an ancient civilization with phenomenal intellectual capital. This is a place that has produced poets like Khayyam and Hafiz, great mathematicians, physicists, and scientists. So if they set their mind to it and they wanted a bomb, they would have one for sure. Now what this deal does is not stop the Iranians from having the bomb per se, which the White House talks about. It talks about how they are stopped, all their four pathways are blocked. Well, yes and no. What it does is, it takes away that Iranian desire to have a bomb. Iranians want a bomb because they feel slighted. They feel they were colonized in the past, first by the British, then jointly by the British and the Soviets, and then by the US. They don't want to be ruled by an external power again. They want protection, they want security, they want independence. And even secular Iranians quite often support the regime's nuclear efforts. Now with this deal, Iran feels it is part of the Committee of Nations, it feels it has a seat at the big table, and so whilst this deal does not stop them from having the bomb per se, it certainly takes away their desire to have a bomb. That's why this deal is significant, that's why this deal is important, that's why this deal is historic.